today I'm going to be trying to install these or one of these at least Cardo Spirit uh, headsets to my helmet this is my helmet here a Frank Thomas design helmet uh, with a lovely cherry blossom tree on it um, yeah little bike shed community sticker for helping out the bike shed during the pandemic uh, yeah it's pretty simple uh, like a GoPro mount on the front here um, for capturing footage as I go but the main thing I wanted to show you uh, is how I'm going to mount this and get it all to work because inside my helmet it's going to be very hard for you to see but uh, the sides do not have cutouts inside the helmet to accommodate headphones uh, so I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to mount them inside the cheeks do come away they've got these little poppers that kind of pop off and allow you to take remove the cheeks but the actual innards here where the ears are doesn't really have uh, much room or anything so it might be a case where the headphones are pressing against my ear and being really uncomfortable so I'm going to try and get that done uh, and then show you how I've done it and if it worked and how comfortable it is so I'm going to stop it there take all the foam and stuff out not the foam but the cushioning out and try and see what I can do. I'm going to start by taking the face cushions out of this one I've already unclipped. This helmet is really easy to take apart and that just comes out like that. And this one just unclip it. It's got like three little poppers inside and then you just slide this bit out like so. It just unclips there and then your helmet might be a bit different slide the clip out the belt and there that's the kind of innards of the helmet can you see in there can you get enough enough light in there the innards of the helmet so I can access here where the ear cushions are now these bits they do come off but they've got these little poppers inside that you have to kind of do at an angle so that comes out like that and this whole kind of head head cushioning part comes out. Um, I didn't actually need to take out any of this lining because when I tried the helmet on to see where my ears lined up, um, they lined up about here. So only the cheek pads needed to come out. So that's convenient. No need to take out all the lining. So I just put the helmet on and then put my thumbs up the side and then just held them where my ear my ear, my ear hole was and then um, yeah stuck the velcro on easier than I thought okay so now I've stuck the headphones to the velcro inside and it makes sense now why the instructions have taken the innards out uh, after doing the velcro stuff because you're going to want to tuck all these wires in behind there so that they're out of the way like that so they're not all trailing so I'm going to tuck them in uh, and sort that out and then come back okay after trying the helmet on a few times taking it off a few times and adjusting the positioning I decided to add these boosters that uh, just increase uh, the width of how much it protrudes it's just a circular disc that comes in the pack as well and it just makes it sit a bit more snug against your ears so now I'm going to try and put the um, padding back on and see how it all fits together but it sounds okay they're not very loud um, but I suppose it can't be too loud because you do have to focus on the road and such as well so yeah it sounds okay it sounds decent uh, how much the road noise and that's going to affect it I'll have to let you know once I go for a ride maybe tomorrow but it seems good so far okay so cushions all back in place all wires concealed apart from this little one hanging here to connect to the actual card over once it goes on the side um, yeah it's a little tighter than normal and there is some slight pressure on the ears maybe this much um, it's gonna take a little bit of riding to see how much that amount of pressure fatigues my ears um, 
I'm not sure it might fatigue to the point where it becomes uncomfortable and I might remove the boosters uh, obviously the speaker will be further from my ear and the noise of the road will be increased but I think I got a feeling that it might be more comfortable especially for long journeys if I remove the boosters it feels snug uh, and yeah just a touch tight maybe not tight but just I can feel I can feel it pressing on my ears very lightly uh, which may over time cause my ears to fatigue quickly but I'll have to see I'll ride tomorrow to work and test it out so let me just hook up the cardo to the side of the helmet now for the last bit okay so to attach the mount to the helmet you've got two options if you've got a thin uh, rimmed helmet with a, a rim that's fewer than five millimeters you can use this attached clip and slide it up the bottom of the helmet in between that gap but I don't have uh, one that's narrower than five millimeters so I've got to use the included sticky one so you literally press these two little catches and the clip slides off and then you slide the sticky one on and then you just place it where you want it uh, and stick it on now it does say that it takes four hours to fully stick so it's quite a while it's not something you can just attach and then go straight away so it does have to cure to the helmet i guess and obviously once it's stuck uh, that's it for life pretty much so uh, be sure before you stick it and make sure you have enough time to do that before you need to go out five hours later right and here you have it the final result i hope this video has been interesting informative and giving you a bit of an idea of how you can fit the cardo the earphones and mount the cardo actual bluetooth receiver to your helmet obviously everyone's helmet will vary very slightly but yeah hopefully you should know or have an idea of what how hard the job is and what kind of work you're going to have to undertake to do it all but yeah it's very very rewarding and once you've done it it's great it sounds great in my helmet i use it every day uh, for directions music chatting to other riders everything it's brilliant all right comment like sub share i'll see you in the next one peace